Good morning, everyone. Good morning to everybody watching this morning or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I hope that uh, if you miss class today, then I will definitely get a chance to see you uh, for tomorrow's class so that I may have any answers for any questions you may have, or we can just have you know a direct interaction and communication. Good morning, Rosalinda. Good morning, DJ. Good morning, Niles. Hope y'all are doing well. Let's wait another moment or so before we get started. Today is going to be a fairly brief day. I have only one assignment, only a bill work, uh, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's let more students hop in before we get started, okay? All right. Good morning, Walter. Hope you're doing well. Good morning, Anaya. Hope you're doing well. Okay, it's 9.05. I think we can go ahead and get started uh, with what we have. Uh, again, thank everybody. Thank you, everybody, for being here on time. I got y'all down for attendance. Let's transition over to Canvas. See what we have for today. Of course, today is April 15th, good old Thursday. Let's start class by looking at Canvas at the home section, where we can find our daily reminder at the very top, which reminds us to always check your announcements and calendar, okay? So if we go over to the announcements section, seen over here, see the, we see that the most recent thing we have is still the level five, unit four, cycle one vocabulary, which is our current vocabulary with the eight words exuberant, excuse me, rinse, excuse me, Taunt, solemn, irritation, indistinct, deceptively, forlorn, and rigid. So these are these are our current vocabulary words. So next, let's take a look at the calendar for today's date, which again is April fifteenth. So if we go to SFA class for today, we have the class start time at nine o five a.m. It's currently what, 9.07? Uh, we have the Zoom meeting information and the bell work for today or 4-15-21 or April 15, 2021. Okay, the instructions for today's bell work say to respond to the writing prompt by writing a paragraph of at, excuse me, it's supposed to be at least five sentences. Matter of fact, hold on one moment, y'all. Let me change that real quick. I apologize for that typo. There we go. Check that. All right. Respond to the writing prompt by writing a paragraph of at least five sentences. The, excuse me, use information from past readings of the On My Honor book that has been read and discussed during live Zoom class. 
if you need to refresh your memory, go back and watch some of our past class recordings on YouTube. So that way, if you need to go back and look at the reading and follow along just to help you answer the writing prompt, feel free to do so. So here's the writing prompt. It says, based on your analysis of the story elements, draw a conclusion about the author's purpose for writing this book. Okay, so why did the author write this, write this book? What is he trying to say or tell us? Or she, is it he or she? I don't know. Remember, it's a uh, Marion Dane Bauer. I don't know if that's a he or she. Uh, what lesson do you think the author wants the reader to learn? So, what do you think the author is trying to teach you as the reader? Support your answer with information from the text. So, also state in your paragraph. Why do you have that opinion that you think the author's trying to uh, teach you this lesson? Because, you know, list some of the things that go on in the story. Uh, some of the conflicts that happen, how they are resolved or how they have yet been resolved. Uh, some of the characters' sayings or some of their actions that might kind of allude to what the author's trying to teach. You know, what kind of lesson they want you to know. But that is the writing prompt. And again, that has to be at least five sentences. Uh, give me a quick show of hands by raising your hand to let me know that you know where to go on YouTube to find the past class recordings. If you do know where to go on YouTube, raise your hand. Okay. Well, for those of you who do not know, I am more than happy to remind you. So on Canvas, go to the home section. The first block up here is for your daily reminder. Your second block is for your Zoom room and YouTube links. Remember that you can go down to where it says YouTube channel link. That should be the last one on the second block and click that. And this link right here, if you click it, it should take you to the class YouTube channel. And you can see some of the past readings like the ones we have for SFA or SFA for SFA. If you go to the ones for draw, that means that's for my drawing class. So be sure to go to the ones for SFA. Like you can see here, I'm opening up the book on my honor. So you can go back and read. So that is where you can get that information. If you Again, if you need any help with, you know, writing your paragraph. Uh, good morning, Joshua. Uh, we just went over the bell work, which is basically the main thing we're doing today. Uh, the bell work is for a writing prompt. I want you to write one paragraph for. Matter of fact, let me go back to it. You can find that on your calendar or, of course, in the assignment section. Just look for today's date, April 15th, 2021. Uh, raise your hand also if you understand what the assignment is for bill work or what you need to do for it. DJ, you do you not understand? Kind of, sort of? Rosalinda, do you understand? I think I saw some fingers, but I can't tell. Yeah. Anaya, do you understand? Give me a thumbs up or a hand or something, Anaya. All right, great. Uh, DJ, uh, what part do you think you may need help with understanding for the bell work for today? Understand. You say you understand? Okay, all right. I didn't see your hand. All right, great. And I see Niles' hand. He put the email on. Well, that's basically what we're doing for class for today. Um, I don't want to give y'all a bunch of, you know, extra team discussions because we already had three so far this week from uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So today we're just going to do a bell work and we're not going to do any extra reading. Though I do want to remind you that today we're on the lesson five portion of the cycle. So 
who knows what comes in lesson six. So what's next? On lesson six of every cycle, what do we do? What do we have? A test. Yep, the cycle test. So be ready for the cycle test tomorrow. Uh, be looking over your vocabulary words. You know, that's why I keep giving you like sentences to practice using those words. So in a sentence, so you can uh, familiarize yourself with each definition and meaning of the word as well as the spelling. Uh, so be sure to go over the vocabulary words and remember what we've read so far in the book on my honor, okay? So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. Of course, we'll discuss it. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we're doing for class for today. I'm not gonna hold y'all long because we don't have a reading necessarily for me to read to you, just the writing prompt. And I want you to use your memory or you can go back and again and watch the videos from the reading to answer the writing prompt and to write me a five sentence paragraph, okay? So that's basically what we're gonna do for today. Uh, everybody good? Everybody have a good morning? Walter, how's your morning going? Pretty good so far. Okay. DJ, how's your morning going? All right. Rosalinda, how's your morning going? All right, a good thumbs up. I cool with that. Mine's going well also. But uh, that's basically what we're gonna do for class for today. Um, remember, type in the assignment to submit it and I'll get that. And I'll be grading them throughout the day. All right, other than that, that's basically it. I will see y'all tomorrow, okay? Pretty brief, short class today, pretty straightforward. I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? Y'all have a nice day. All right, later.